it's been a week of comeback. First, New Zealand came back to defeat England by one run. Can India make a similar comeback and win the indoor test? That's the question we are asking on this live. Hello and welcome to Beyond Sports Extra. I am Nikhil Mathur and I'm joined by editor Digvijay Singh Deo and by my colleague Vidur Kathuria. Straight up, who do you think is going to win this match? <laughs> Anyone can win. Anyone can win. As things stand, as we are talking, India leading by 24. It's been a bit of a uh, T20 style innings from Shreya Sayer, if I could call you that. Perhaps that is the only way to bat on this page, get the runs on the board. This is a situation right now in this test match that even a score of 100, 120 could be match winning. I'm going to take you back to a test match I covered in, in uh, Mumbai, 2004, India versus Australia. First day, barely any, any uh, action happened. Michael Clark took six for nine. Previous Lakshman and Sachin Tendulkar scored 50s. I think Australia had to chase about 100 odd. And there were 93 or something all out, I remember. Murli Karthik was man of the match. So... Australia won that series, right? They had already won the series. Yeah. That was a sort of dead rubber. But with India leading by 24, there is hope. There is hope. You still think that 120, 130 odd on this wicket, Jadeja and Ashwin, the way they are bowling, India can pull it off. So, and it could be a great comeback. Are you going to pick a side or are you going to play safe? <laughs> well, I'm not going to pick a side. But this test match can change in a matter of minutes. Literally minutes. We saw it in the morning, exactly, in the morning exactly, session. Exactly. Yeah. The score was, what? 186 for 4, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. And they were all out from 197. Yeah, they lost like 6, six wickets. wickets. It's 30 balls. 24 balls, yeah. 11 runs. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what happens in test matches. You have to win not just sessions. There are mini battles inside those sessions and that changes the game like this. But in the morning, so, just going back, I don't know if you were awake, but you were, you were watching, I was watching. That first one hour, you were thinking that, okay, Australia are doing everything right, yeah. preserving no chances. wickets, no chances and sort of, you know, putting India under pressure. But then, Umesh Yadav, we were talking yesterday about yes, his ability absolutely. to reverse swing and the pitch didn't have much to do with it. It was just fast, it was at the stumps and the ball just about held its line or just did a bit to sort of send those wickets cartwheeling. That's the sight yeah, in, in cricket. That ball, visual to pitch. Dismay, that ball to dismiss Mitchell Stark was something special. Just that visual of the stumps like somersaulting, that's the sight. No, I, I think he's got 101 wickets in India, that is like the most, like the number five, most wicket. The first is, I think, Kapil Dev with some 200 and then Jawadal Srinath, Zaheer Khan, Ishan Sharma and Umesh Yadav is the fifth with 101 wicket. But I'm going to go ahead and say that I think India will win this match. The reason that I am saying... Bold statement. Bold, bold, statement. bold statement. The reason, I will give you three reasons. First, I think Pujara is due for a big knock. I think today it's going to be his day. He's going to score... He scored 43 as we speak yeah. and Shreya Sayer is 25 odd. And, and second reason, I trust in the try of Ravi Chandran Ashwin, Ravindra Janeja and Akshar Patil. Janeja is out, Ashwin and Patil can contribute with the bat and they are going to bowl Australia out. But I, I, I think, no, I think instead of just sort of looking ahead, I think what India need to do is somehow get, play 15 minutes, 20 minutes, get to say around 4 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. The last half an hour and see where they stand at the moment because clearly on this on this pitch run scoring is not easy. Runs are at a premium. You know Australia went into that shell and there was a very telling comment from I don't know who was on the commentary that point of time that Peter Hanscom did everything right but he did not release the pressure. He just got 15 singles or something mm -hmm. in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And so the scoreboard didn't move despite Australia being solid. You would think you have that to have intent. yes, intent despite the scoreboard yeah. being solid and sort of you know. They had a great first star, you would think, they're not losing a wicket. Yeah. But then wickets fell in a heap. It just takes that one sort of ball to trigger a collapse. So, important for India and there's not too much batting left, right? What do you have out of this? K.S. Bharat, K.S. Bharat, Ashwin, Akshar. Patel, Akshar Patel. We're actually scoring more scored. runs than you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I think that's what India is doing right now. Like Pujara is blocking one end where Shreya Sayyar has been giving the freedom to go This ahead. is Pujara in his elements. Yeah. This is the Pujara. We. We missed in that first exactly. innings when we, when we were speaking about this. Why was Pujara sort of going back and trying to hit that ball so early in his innings? But he's done all the hard work over here. Yeah. So, what is the lead that India are looking at? What will be, not safe, but a good 
target to defend. No, I think anything above 150, you yeah. would back yeah. India to win. Yeah. Yeah, I but think. I think let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. I think even 100 is going to be challenging. Yeah. I think India will definitely back themselves to defend 150 on this pitch. 150, they, you, you, you yeah, would yeah. expect them to yeah. think. But I just think that even say you get to about 100, and 100 120, do you think that's going to be enough? It's going to be a challenge. Australia are going to be put under pressure right from the first ball. But what I feel like Australia doesn't have the temperament to play the spin. Like they like what what you as you said that Hanscom was there. He was blocking the ball. He was looking good, but he wasn't scoring. And I, I disagree with that because you look at the way Usman Khawaja has played. Khawaja Smith, Smith and, and Labuschagne. Those are three very big wickets. Yeah. These three have the talent and the the aptitude sort of to, to play on these kind of wickets, and they sort of have scored runs. And and whenever sort of Smith and and Labuschagne have been batting, you get the feeling that. They're in control. Yeah, I think these three are going That's to be the, the key word. I think, are you in control? You yeah. can play exactly. like Rohit Sharma in that first innings. He was never in control. Yeah. 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 Uh, interestingly, say someone like Alex Carey, he also uh, goes out there with intent to score yeah. runs, but he doesn't seem in control. Yeah. First ball to today yeah. goes to yeah. and then yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But he shows intent. Yeah. But yeah. It doesn't transform into runs. <laughs> yeah. That's the sad part. Where are we at? So, 25 right now. So you will have this uh, thing. You will have these passages of play where Australia are on top and all. But but is you been you had the TV on your side. I didn't watch that much as you did. Is the pitch really uh, gone? Uh, note lower lower from yesterday. Uh, I think it was looking fine in the morning. Like there's this, there's this odd bounce and one the other wall keeping low. But I felt like which is to be expected yeah, on a dry wicket. Yeah. yeah. But I felt like in the morning session I was wicket. Like, yeah, Kohli's totally. wicket, yeah. But in the morning session, it was like it didn't look as bad as it was yesterday. But you never know. This this is still a bad pitch. You know, you never know. The odd one will bounce more, and so it's still a difficult pitch to. But you you also have in Shreya Sayer and and Pujara. We all know is a master of sort of blocking one end up. And it, you, there was this lovely article I read from Ravi Chandran Ashwin ahead of Pujara's yeah. hundred test, where yeah. he says. If Pujara decides I will not get out, then he will not get out. Come what may. Yeah. So then the pressure or sort of the onus is now on on uh, Shreya Sayar. And that's the way he's, he's approached this innings, right? He's yeah. been aggressive. And it's a very important innings for him, by the way. Yeah. He's going to be under pressure. He's under pressure. pressure. But who would have but, thought, without going back to that test match in Mumbai, who would have thought that a 50 from uh, Lakshman and a 50 from Sachin yeah. Tendulkar is okay. ultimately going to change that match? It's going to turn that match around. Yeah. And Shreya Sayer, he was the leading run scorer for India in 2022. So he ha he has been injured and has struggled with form, but he is a he has got a great opportunity. And another and, and also doesn't it tell you about and Shreya says is not exactly this prodigious talent who's come straight into the Indian team at the age of 18 or 19. He's come through a proper workout in in domestic cricket. IPL. Okay, we are talking about this pitch being dodgy, but. Obviously, in domestic cricket, there have obviously been spinning tracks as well. So, India a better place than Australia to play on these kind of wickets. Oh, 100%. And, and that's what is the true test right now for them. I think, trust your instincts, get the runs, get the runs, however, what way they would come, an edge or whatever. But he's also sort of, I've seen both of them sort of step out and try to take on the bowlers as well. The more, the more they do that, think of what Australia will be going through. Yeah. They, they have seen a lead of 87, which they thought was pretty big. It's now gone. India are ahead. So the pressure is also now mounting on Australia because those players out there are wondering, hey, we got to bat fourth here. Yeah, and fourth inning pressure is always so there. So technically, look, don't look at this as a first day pitch or a second day pitch, right? Look at it as perhaps a fourth day pitch to start off with. So this is a fifth or sixth day pitch, right? I mean, the way the wicket was and how dry it was. I just think that Put runs on the board, Australia are going to be under massive pressure. Speaking of days, like this has been a three three day test series. What do you think? This match will, will this match be finished today or will it go? It all depends on the next one and a half hours because say India get just about a 26, 30 ahead. Even if India sort of get what a 60, 70 run lead, yeah. you never know. You could knock it off. You can Australia could come and say, you know, okay, we obviously can't bat it out. Let's go for it. Let's yeah. because. Then, you, then what happens? India have to attack. If you're defending 70-odd, even on this kind of a wicket, 
you have to attack right and then once the few boundaries go here and there you start pushing the field back then it's easier then you don't have so many close in fielders all of that comes into play like you go back to that uh, new zealand england match the last wicket even when the runs came down even though uh, new zealand had to attack they didn't have a slip to see that match they didn't have a slip they had to push fielders out to protect the runs as well right yeah. Yeah. and then depend on the bowler to sort of create that pressure and ensure that easy runs don't come so there's a lot at play here initially you would think that australia o87 oh, ahead they're running away with the test i think it's wide open and another guy we spoke about was shubman gill we spoke that he would yeah he is the only batsman who got out playing a rash shot so oh shreya sayer has just got out Okay. Oh, that's yes. a big blow for India. So now twenty-five. The lead's twenty-five. Twenty-five. That's right. So India. You're twenty-five for five. Then, You're twenty-five for five. Yeah. Okay. So now, as you said, this is now going to be a very, very okay. important next half an hour. Also, half an hour. Uh, which will determine when the match finishes. I still think I'm taking. Will will should the message go out to Pujara that now start getting runs or no, will the I message to or, him would no, be no. that you have. someone like an aksar yeah, to come you exactly. have someone ashwin, like ashwin yes. yeah. and you and bharat yeah. is somebody who's who been aggressive runs, yeah. they can score runs so even if these guys say get 10 15 odd runs that helps pujara and pujara will keep getting those singles he'll get to his half century hopefully and aksar bharat ashwin all very capable and umesh yadav to hit a few yeah, sixes yeah. at the yes, end yes 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 <laughs> and by the way umesh yadav great to see him take three wickets i i mean you see that four wickets from uh, i think ashwin Three from Jadeja and three from Umesh five Yadav. over twelve runs. Just, just it's wickets. such a huge achievement for a pacer to take three wickets on this pitch. Yeah. I think. Okay, Bharat's come out. Bharat's come out. Yeah, yeah. So I think Bharat, he played. He looked good in the first innings yeah, as well. So I think. He, But it's now no longer about getting the fifties. Yeah. It's about yeah, getting yeah. first exactly. five. Build it in blocks of that five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Just keep adding, oh, yeah. and you never know how priceless they could become. Yeah. So we were talking about how. Uh, Ben Folk sort of refused those singles and all. You never know; every run could count, because on a on a good wicket, you would say you know, 150 odd is gettable. But on a wicket like this, where you don't know what's happening, I mean, it's 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 probably your luck. Do you get an unplayable ball? Yeah. yeah. Or do you sort of you know try to force the pace and get out? I think when that doubt seeps into the mind of the batters. that is what makes it a uh, enthralling test uh, match situation yeah. because when you play without fear you know you can just stong the ball right but when you know there's something on the line will you go for your shot knowing that if i get out do i expose yeah. the rest of the yeah. batters to come that would happen possibly as well like 11 runs 6 wicket 24 balls so you can just like five overs the yeah. match was finished so anything on this wicket in fourth inning would be you know difficult for australia no, but you yeah. still you still need at least ah, uh, at least yeah. 100 Yeah, yeah. If you don't get a hundred, it's psychologically it's easier yeah, because hundred, yeah, a yeah. hundred is a bare minimum for India. You need a lead of hundred. Looks difficult right now. Twenty-five yeah. for five. Technically, we are twenty-five for five, right? Twenty-five, twenty-six for five. Yeah, yeah. Hundred. I think a hundred will be yeah as you a said. challenge. Yeah, hundred yeah. will be a challenge. Oh, for sure. Australia, India will still attack, attack, attack in the in that fourth innings, and I think it's right now. On a nice edge. On a nice edge. <laughs> okay, let's talk what we're doing. That's it for now. But coming up, six thirty in the evening, we'll have a full wrap of what's happening in uh, in uh, in this test match. If it's over or not, we'll we'll know in an hour and a half from now. There's also a lot of football which we're going to reflect with uh, Arsenal showing that they're no pushovers. They're going to go and scrap till the very end. They have a five point lead over. Manchester over City. Manchester City, uh, Manchester United also won their match. That was in the FA Cup. They came yes. from behind against yes. West Ham United. There's a the there's a Copa. Uh, sorry, there's a Copa del Rey, yes. El Clasico, first leg. Real Madrid versus Barcelona yes. as well, and Liverpool. Let's not forget. Yes. Liverpool returned to winning ways and top four hopes. To win. Yeah, top and, four hopes. Well, They're Liverpool in the game. They're still in it. Let's see. But do, do you think? <laughs> do you think that it's only that one place which is open? That City. Yeah, United and Arsenal yes. are gone. Yes. One, one, one spot which three Tottenham, Liverpool, Liverpool Newcastle. 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 Liverpool can still do it. I think But they have the they have the pedigree. I think they have once they having these players coming back as well. I think they know, and you would. I'm just loving the way Darwin Nunez is playing. 
may not be scoring the goals he scored one was sort of uh, ruled out by var but he's creating opportunities and that's what you want that pace is involved in the that pace is sort of rackling the opposition defense yeah but he has to work on a lot of things especially his finishing and obviously the nba you can take us through that yes kevin durant made his debut for the phoenix suns long awaited He said he was nervous, but still scored twenty-three points. So just, that just tells you how good of a player he is. Yeah. So that's it uh, from us from this live. Do tune uh, into our show at six thirty p.m. IST. And thank you for joining.